What's your favorite food? Like, who cares what my favorite food is? I'm not some celebrity, yeah. Like, I'm not like Shahrukh Khan. Who actually cares what a jazz musician's yeah. favorite food? Like, who? Like. Jazz in India has always been like there's been phases of up and down, you know, in Bombay in the 60s, 70s, even before, in the, almost in the 30s. Um, I think it's on its way up. Also, because a lot of musicians are studying abroad and moving back and starting their own thing and are, are deeply influenced by what's happening currently. Everybody in India, like the upper middle class, have the same kind of influences that anybody else has in the West because our access points are exactly the same. We watch the same internet channels, we watch the same YouTube channels. So, electronic music is obviously huge here. Um, I think people. I, can't, I don't know why it's bigger than other genres. I guess there's a certain amount of access that comes with dance music, which is, you know, global. When people are listening to music live, they don't think about genres that much. They're there to enjoy themselves and they're there to kind of connect with the music and I think people do that. I guess so this growing up across three continents is a little bit of a red herring. I grew up, I was born in the US and lived there until I was two years old. Then I moved to India. I mean, I've grown up in India pretty much all my life. Uh, and I moved to London when I was 22, 23. And yeah, I mean, it's like influenced my life because like a lot of us growing up in India in the 90s and 2000s, you know, we were listening to a lot of like Western music. We were listening to rock and roll, jazz, whatever. I mean, and I was also growing up in Indian classical music in my house. So it's that combination of stuff that's very natural to me uh, that might seem like a mix of cultures but for me it's just like how I grow up basically. They are like normal freelance musicians at the end of the day. They're a performing group of musicians, very marginalized community of people, the Siddhis. But they have, you know, they're hustling just like I am in a way, you know, they're, they're trying to make a living playing music. Of course, there's this whole spiritual side to what they do and sacred music. But they're also normal people, you know, they're not people who you can't like. I was at first wary to say, you know, I should be cautious about how I talk to them, but they were totally fine, normal people, uh, very generous, but open with their music, you know, just made me sit down like and they played to me and like I recorded them in different parts of their, you know, village. So incredibly normal is, is the best compliment I can give. Who's my favorite artist? Jesus Christ. Um, oh man. Uh, there's a person called Charles Lloyd that I admire a lot. I'll change my mind if you ask me two minutes later, but for now it's Charles Lloyd. Uh, my, the one I'm having a shower. It's the best. Not the pot. No. I'm on my phone a lot, my party, sadly, but like, yeah. Shower. We did a couple of gigs with this person called Kamasi Washington, who's a jazz musician, and uh, like on tour with him. And some of those gigs were really memorable because his father came and played with us as well. And we were playing to like three, four thousand people, and we were playing our sort of music to. And it, as jazz musicians, you hardly ever get to play to three, four thousand people. You know, it's rare. Um, so that was incredible. But also, honestly, I'm not saying it, but like playing yesterday was fun. So I'm doing a new project, uh, a new album, basically with um, MCs and like spoken word like rappers from Dharavi. So kids who are rapping in Hindi, Marathi, English, but talking about stuff that they're going through were incredible. And I'm also working with some South Asian MCs from um, the UK. And I'm trying to make this sort of jazz album with spoken word poets and uh, hip hop artists on it, um, where it's about being South Asian, diasporic South Asians, but also local in, in, in terms of where they're from, from the slums in Dharavi. I think there would be an interesting dialogue between those two.